Hello. <laughs> when did you first discover your creative talents? From a very early age, I think when I started, you know, kids drawing. My father recognized like a kind of more than usual quality. But I hadn't chosen or thought I was particularly talented. I think it was later, about 14, 15. It wasn't even my ambition yet to be a painter or but my father directed me and uh, guided me. And um, one thing led to another. How would you describe your style? It's direct. It's like very direct. I know it's cartoon expressionism, it's been called. I just feel like this work, but I think it's still relevant. I think it's still, it's a little bit of a kind of pop expressionist quality. It's a cartoon ref, uh, quality of it, cartoony. Where do you draw your inspiration from? Many sources, I would think. I mean, personal, historical, in terms of art, what I see in front of me, what I'm just about to see in front of me. You know what I mean by that? In other words, I'll make the image first, and then I'll actually see kind of what I've just painted off of. It's like comes in reverse. Inspiration is like um, temporary. It comes and goes, and you can't, can't rely on it, really. You know, you work often when you're totally uninspired. Sometimes the best things come from it, like you're fatigued and you're just, you make a lot of mistakes or something, if you want to call it that. You're less interested. Well, happy accidents. Yeah, <laughs> happy accidents, I like that. I like that. Well, tell us about your work today. Um, well, because it's a new body of work, it takes me... This was a pretty short span of time that it took me to recognize that this piece is finished, it's a good piece, it's often like that can take months and months or years even, like I'll look back at it and think, this isn't quite done, I don't, whatever, you know, these were, pretty much came off within a couple of days, a few days of doing them, especially the large ones are usually pretty fast, and um, I felt solid about them, but I still like hadn't gotten, gotten acquainted with them fully. So it's like other people saw them. My girlfriend in particular was one of the only ones that saw them as they progressed, and she was the one that recognized that lemony yellow, how, how well it worked. I didn't even get that or something. And then I realized like that's what was, she thought that made such a bizarre like color quality and everything. Or, and so that was really interesting. Was, um, you know, I knew I was on the right track. I think these paintings were already germinating germinating in me for quite a while, so they just kind of, um, you know, and I did work it up from studies, like smaller to bigger, which I don't always do. Like I never usually do studies for a painting, it's just like direct and, but um, the theme and everything is pretty, like you can follow the theme and it, it, it um, there's like details of the major images and everything and they, um, in terms of becoming acquainted with them, I'm still wondering myself fully what they are depicting. Do you have yeah, a, like, of... a piece that you've done recently here that stands out to you, or several pieces particularly? Well, I think for sure the sculpture installation I just did is probably the resonates for me right now the most because I just finished it and I felt like I set out to do something with it and it really kind of came to be, you know, and like, it, my mind, uh, my first conception of it, like, shifted quickly, and it's a really nice feeling, like, when, I think I brought the mannequins up to the roof, and I was going to spray paint them, and it just didn't work, and then I started oil painting on them, and it, that was it, the, you know, because they feel like flesh, it feels like flesh now, and it became very alive, it's like, they, and they, then they started to, like, look like they just jumped out of the painting, so it's like, I think most of my paintings are kind of abstract quality, but they're um, very sculptural. Like you could look at them and think, you could make a diorama sculpture out of them. Because the space is somewhat two-dimensional, but it's, it's not deep, deep space. Mm -hmm. But it's like a shallow-spaced 
you know, uh, sculptural quality. And um, I definitely think I get that sculptural uh, direction of, from my studying Picasso. I think he's exactly the same way. Most of his paintings are like sculptures. They're, they're really, he's a sculptor. I, I really think of Picasso as a great sculptor. There's a lot of nice variety in the sizes of your work here too today. I, I love the feeling that I could, you can make something this big that is just as good as something that's this big. And it's like, um, sometimes I thought, no, I'm too, like, like eh, to do something which you might call tight, you know, tight and small. And you don't have to get tight and small. I mean, I try to keep them, you know, fluid or not. I, I know when I've become uh, tight in the work, but that's the worst feeling. It's like when you're just... Not laboring it, but just not, you know, you have to be kind of loose. So how's it been working with the Gray Art Gallery? It's been, um, I'm really, really, really happy with it. I mean, it's, it's been a really great experience, and I've actually I've gotten to know everybody. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I wish uh, Casey all the best, and I'm going to do what I can to help him get us all, you know, what we deserve. You know, every, everything, I have not one complaint. Awesome. <laughs> well, thank you. Yep, thank you. <laughs>